Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to make this pattern by creating these elements separately and then combining them to make a pattern out of it. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm going to go to file and new. I'll create a 5 into 5 inches artboard, CMYK color and 300 ppi and click create. So our basic design is going to be these elements and we're going to go ahead and create each one of these one by one. So let's start with the Christmas tree. For that go to your rectangle tool, right click and then rectangle tool if you cannot see it. Click, hold your shift key down and drag to make a square. Now I'll go here and uh, cancel this stroke and now I'll just go ahead and give this color so that we don't have to change it later. Right click on your pen tool, go to delete anchor point tool and let's just delete one of these corners. Now go to your selection tool and you can see a very nice uh, rotate button right here. Hold your shift key down and click and rotate till you get it like this. Now click on your direct selection tool and click on this right here and click and drag so that it becomes elongated. You can hold your shift key while doing this so that it does not move around. Next go to your rectangle tool, click and drag to make a rectangle. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay, and let's give this the color. I'll mention all the colors in the description box. Please go ahead and pick it up from there. Now let's send this to back by pressing Command Shift and open square bracket. Go back to your selection tool, click and select everything. Now make a copy of it that is Control C and then Control V. Let's drag it here. Click and select everything. Command G to group them together and this one we're going to change the color press I on your keyboard and select the color and then go back to your selection tool click and drag command G to group them and let's just reduce the size of this and let's keep it up here let's do the same thing next the snowflake so since it is white in color, we'll just start with a different color and then we can change it to white. Go to your line tool. Let's change this to stroke. Now hold your shift key down, click and drag to make a line segment. Now you can barely see it. So let's go to stroke. To go to stroke, you can go to window and then stroke. So everything here in this part like libraries, layers, and everything here, you can find it on the window. Okay, in stroke, let's change this to about three point. And here, let's make it rounded cap. Click on this. Now, to make the pattern on it. So go to your line segment tool again. Now click, and you can hold your shift key and drag. Now click, and once more. Now let's do that again, but a little shorter than the previous one. Let's go here and drag this to make one more. Okay, I think this should be fine. Now go back to your selection tool. Now click and select just the right side of your snowflake. Now right click, transform and reflect. And here we can select vertical and then let's just click on copy. So there's a copy here. Hold your shift key down and click your left arrow button and move it so that it moves uniformly but it's not properly aligned so I'm just going to click hold my shift key down and drag it a little bit so that it comes and sits nicely on this point okay but I think this is very very long so I'm just gonna click hold my shift key and reduce this okay now click and select everything and command G to group them together now we'll go ahead and rotate it click on the rotate tool and make sure you click on this button right here or the point right here and now hold your option or alt key down click hold your shift down and rotate and it rotates exactly at 45 degrees now press command or control D to repeat this action so my length of this snowflake was a little longer so these things don't touch each other whereas here uh, they were a little shorter so they kind of touch each other but it's okay you can Keep it any way you want. I'll just go, go ahead and click everything. Command G to group everything together. Now I'll make one more copy. Control C and Control V. 
and drag it here and hold your shift key down and click and make it much smaller as small as this one and this one let's make it a little smaller as well okay let's place it here and this one as well now it's time to make our reindeer I think that's how it's pronounced let's start with the main face so go to your ellipse tool so right click an ellipse tool hold your shift key down click and drag to make a circle let's change this to fill now we have to make one more ellipse but this time don't hold the shift key just click and drag to make an ellipse let's click on the selection tool click on these two together and make sure they're aligned properly to do that you can go to your align if you cannot see it here you can go to window and then align and here just press center let's just look at that it looks a little bit like a reindeer but not exactly so I'm just gonna move this a little up by pressing the up arrow key okay this seems much better I'm just going to click and select everything and go to my pathfinder that is window and then pathfinder and then click on unite now it's time to add some ears click on your ellipse tool again click and drag without holding your shift key and make an ellipse now let's go to our pen tool and click on anchor point tool and click on this button right here let's just bring this here and reduce the size a little bit and you can rotate it a little bit click and drag and place it here let's just look at this this needs to be a little wider so you can make it wide like this and move a little bit like that okay so let's make one more on the other side click right click transform reflect and vertical click on copy hold your shift key down and move your arrow button all with your mouse and make sure it sits nice and perfect now click and select everything and you can click on unite to make them one single form now it's time to make the antlers so let's go to our line segment tool hold your shift key down click and drag to make a straight line and now selection tool click outside so that this is not selected line tool again click and hold your shift key and make a line segment let's do the same thing this side as well okay go back to your selection tool click and select these things command G to group them together and let's rotate it a little bit so that it sits here nicely now we have to reflect it right click transform reflect vertical copy holding your shift key you can move it to this end now click on both of these and let's send it to back by pressing command shift and open square bracket let's put in the main nose go to your ellipse tool hold your shift key down click and make a nice nose let's move it to fill and now it's time for eyes same thing with eyes let's color it black and let's move it over here hold your option key down click shift and drag to make another one so you can leave it at this or give it a mouth I've just used a pencil tool uh, to draw the mouth like this and stroke was black you can go back to your selection tool click on the nose and press command shift and close square bracket to bring it to front so your reindeer is ready I'm just going to click and select on everything and press command G to group them together and next we can just make it a little smaller by holding the shift key and your reindeer is ready but then again you can click on your uh, face and give the color that you have chosen here and that is I think this one select and choose the color and it's the same for the snowflakes as well uh, you can just click on the snowflakes and give it white and okay so our elements are ready and the next one is snowflakes so I just made some snowflakes by clicking and uh, making circles using my shift key down and then coloring them white but I did not make the snowflakes when I was making the design what I did was I added these things later on when I was making the pattern so I'm just going to copy these things down here or move them here a little bit and arrange them as I want but I can also click on everything now I'll go to object 
pattern and make. So it creates a pattern. I'm just going to select brick by row here and I will go ahead and arrange everything. So this is my block right here. So I can arrange these things. So let's put this one here. And like we saw in the previous one, let's arrange it how it was over there. And then you can go to your ellipse tool and shift and drag and make these white snowflakes. And once you're done with everything, you can just click on done. And now let's go ahead to our rectangle tool, right click rectangle tool, click and drag. Let's give some color to this really dark color. Let's make it black. Control C to copy, Control F paste on top. We pasted the same rectangle on top. And now we'll go ahead and click on our pattern. And there you go. Your beautiful pattern is ready. So this is how you make a reindeer themed pattern and uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I think I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.